everybody. Snow Girl for Zombie Girl Gaming, and uh, we're gonna play Assassin's Creed Unity. We're gonna make this a multi, I don't know, event thing. We're gonna play it all the way through, so, you know, as bad as I play it, it could be anywhere between um, 40 to 100, you know, 50 episodes. <laughs> so, we'll see. I'll let uh, Zombie Girl get on and do some of these episodes. We'll get Vinny on here too because his unique way of looking at things will be interesting. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. And uh, this thing is a beast. It is a beast. Um, uh, I'll tell you when I'm running on it right now. I've got an i7. Um, and uh, running eight gigabytes of RAM and uh, and an R9 280x overclocked Sapphire board runs about 280 bucks. Uh, and uh, now I'll be honest with you guys, I played this thing for about 30 minutes today and managed to just get through the first, not even a sequence, just the opening lines and credits and things like that. So uh, we're gonna try to break these up in about 15 minute. Um, 15 minute episodes, maybe 20 minutes, depending upon, um, you know, dep depending on how we're going. And then, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. And if you uh, give me some likes and uh, hit that subscribe button, we'll make sure to make more. Because if nobody's watched them, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. So, uh, here we go. Starting out Assassin's Creed Unity. is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Okay, guys, when we get back here, we got through that first little advertisement. Is that how you say that? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I guess, and I'm not sure here, as you get through certain things, I, I don't know anything about the game. This is the first time you're playing it as I'm playing it. Like I said, I got through about 30 minutes of it today, so we're going to discover a lot of stuff together. Uh, I don't know what any of this shit means. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll start with the one that we can actually play, and then we'll work it from here. Now, I have all the downloadable content and all that kind of stuff, so, uh, yeah. Let's take, uh, let's take a look. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Okay, well you heard him. We're going to go experience Jacques de Molay. And uh, <clears throat> it's it's a bit of a play. So uh, bear with me and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. In the future, I will try to cut out the cutscenes. <laughs> the saving scenes there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, there you go. Who goes there? The friend of the temple. Shlauhak. The Council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. 
King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. That was rude. <laughs> he was gonna let you in the fucking building. We are betrayed. Try us all, ah. Defend the Jean de Molay. Right there. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. That's what we need to do. Faster than we expected. Mm. Another hand is at work here. No. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Massa, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as a plague, the less easily eradicated. What about? We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I will. All right, let's do this. Move. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> All right. We're going to drill through these people. I just don't feel like uh, uh, fighting right now. Well, shit. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, I know absolutely about nothing what I'm doing. Good lord, man. I haven't played... I've played every one of the Assassin's Creed's. And, uh... It always takes me a little while to get used to it again. <laughs> Battlefield player. Oh, wait. I think I'm supposed to go down there. Uh... All right. <laughs> Don't let me through. You don't even know I'm up here. The tower. I breached the, the tower. The click of the... And let's give chase to this credent. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Man, I almost fucked up there. Oh, no, buddy. He's, uh, I think he, I think he's out running me. <laughs> nah, buddy, really, just keep on running. Believe me, you'll, you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll get away. <laughs> I obviously suck at this. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, an assassin. I thought I was the assassin. No, oh, yeah, come get some assassin, my ass. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, buddy. Oh yeah, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. Jesus Christ, how many times I gotta hit you with a sword? Got a bit of a got a bit of a run on me there. <laughs> and, really? Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Sit your ass down. What the fuck was that? Is Was that like a Star Wars, like, uh, Jedi Knight electric thing coming out of the fingertips thing, but it was a sword thing? I mean, what the fuck was that? I'm sure they will explain it. At some point. Like Excalibur or something? 
Wait a minute, did Excalibur ever shoot shit out? I don't remember. I can't, I can't recall that. But I'm sure we will get around to the, the meaning of the Codex Pantherentilicus. That would be Latin. To all you lame motherfuckers out there. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, I could be wrong. Now why are you giving up the sword, man? That's something it seems to me like you want to hang on to. Alright. Have fun. See you later, buddy. Damn, that's a nice sword. The assassin stuck my ass? Wait a minute, I'm dead? Really? <laughs> sort of a futile attempt at running there, I think. Seven years later. Alright, let's see. Seven years later. Well, since I'm dead, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, were they burning me now? Oh, they got Jacques up there. Hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You just be cursed! <laughs> Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. And that's a bad way to go. Burning at the stake. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's well, as much as you get today. Actually. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys carry like their fingers in countless corporations, <laughs> governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they <laughs> want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence. Yeah, can we go uh, get some dinner and we could discuss it? Uh, I like the jacket, you're really sporting that whole, you know, Terminator 2 chick Last thing. I like it. We gained access to a bank oh. of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Okay. I'll be looking forward to you, honey. Let's. <laughs> Sorry, sent a commented on that. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta learn how to. I gotta learn how to. I'm gonna cut these damn saving and loading sequences in because this game actually completely drawn out is somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 gigs. You know, I mean, I not that I. I mean, I can't think offhand how huge that is. I think you need 50 gigs to run it. It's just sick. 50 gig game once it's fully downloaded that's just huge so I imagine it's a lot of cut sequences extreme graphics on a I go with you father courage my boy you wait just here I will return when this hand reaches the top Thus forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Gotta sit here in a chair, looking forward. No book, no cable TV, no nudie magazines, nothing, huh? Just, uh, okay. I must have been bored shitless back in those days. I mean, there was just fucking nothing to do but read. You know, kids don't like to read, so I mean, what? Do 
Dude, it's a trap. It's gotta be a trap. Don't fall for that bitch. Alright. Let's follow her, see what the hell she's doing. <clears throat> no, I'd rather figure out what Aren't you coming? Yeah, I'm right here, honey. Let's go. Oh. Scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Damn. Quickly, quickly. I'm coming. Yeah, nice fluid motion. Uh, I guess when you have something big enough or beefy enough, you can get that. Detail is incredible. Steal it. Okay. Hell. I could steal that. Oops. Hide from the guard. Break your pursuer's line of sight to create a last known position. Wait a minute. Oh, push the wrong one. Wait a minute. Hold on, dude. I'm, I'm working on. Run. Run, kid. Run, kid. No, keep going. Keep running. Okay, now look at the little question mark up there, and we can clearly see. Uh huh. Speak to the girl. You got it. Look at that. <clears throat> okay, so what this basically is is the little uh, the detail is incredible. Wow. They did a really good job. Look at that. Uh, so this is just to get you familiar with the gameplay. Get you familiar with the controls after a while. So. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Oh, he's Let's just see where going. <laughs> Don't be copping and nothing. What's wrong with you? Now, excuse me, guys, if I take a look around all the time, I like to think stuff out. Wow. Yeah. Alright, I'm coming. I'm admiring the, the architecture. <laughs> I'm, admi I'm admiring things. Emotion, huh? Keep it in. Be strong, boy. Be strong. Be strong. Hold it in. Hold it in. Oh my god. Hold it in. Is that like a shock post traumatic stress thing? What is that? I'd be bawling like a bitch right now. Oh my god. Look at me. Shake it off. Taylor Swift, that shit. Alright, All right, we're going to call it an end to it right here, guys, and we will see a part two by tomorrow. I will upload it. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe. Thanks a lot for joining us.